Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today we're going to take a look at the FN FS2000. This Belgian wonder bullpup is certainly strange looking, and most people ask if it's straight out of Buck Rogers or some sort of similar science fiction show, but underneath all the plastic, it is a very reliable and cool gun. And uh, for this review, I actually got Nathaniel F to come over from Louisiana and hopefully give me a hand with this. Uh, here you see him shooting it, and he described the recoil impulse as pleasant and overall a very well put together gun. He did say that the factory optic left a little bit to be desired, but uh, that's to be expected. We've all been spoiled by nice optics like ACOGs and aim points and stuff, I suppose. Uh, I would liken it to an old Steyr AUG A1 optic. Um, also, you just saw the brass puke out of the gun. That's It's pretty cool. It is forward ejecting, so a lefty can use it. The trigger leaves a little bit to be desired, as is the case with pretty much every bullpup, but you can still fire it reasonably quickly, as seen here. And it is, uh, it is an easy gun to shoot up close and far away. The optic doesn't have very much magnification. The eye relief isn't that great. Um, but yeah, it is kind of what it is. And to me, uh, that makes it look cool, having the factory optic on there. Shooting it prone is a little strange. Um, the gun is rear heavy, of course, as is the case, like I said, with most bullpups. They have these types of characteristics present. Um, the trigger, you really start to notice it when you're trying to shoot precisely. Uh, here I was shooting... I believe at a very small uh, color changing target and printing about three to four inch groups at 100 meters, which was not that great. Um, I really do feel like an aftermarket trigger would solve that problem. However, I'm not even sure that any are in production for this gun. Uh, it is also a little strange in that it can't take 20 round magazines, so you can't rest any part of it on the ground, which would be nice. But taking it back to 300 meters here, uh, this is a reuse shot, by the way. I forgot to take another one. But uh, we did take it back to 300 meters to shoot at some steel, about a 12-inch diameter plate. And here's where it shines pretty well. The optic, while it doesn't magnify a lot, is very precise. You have a very nice uh, fine point that you can take full advantage of. And the FS2000, while it looks very bulky and heavy, is not as heavy as you would think. It handles reasonably okay. Um, that's not something where I'd, I'd take points away on this gun. Um, Believe me, there's places where I would, especially with uh, moving the magazines a little bit awkward. The safety, however, is great. It's located inside of the trigger guard and is very natural. This gun is very ambidextrous. Aside from the charging handle being permanently fixed to the left side of the gun, like an MP5 or G3 rifle, it's pretty lefty friendly. Um, that's one of the biggest complaints about bullpups is that if you're a lefty, you're going to get sprayed with brass in the face if you transition from shoulder to shoulder or something like that. But FN's solution was have it eject from the front as you can see throughout this video. And here, it's very accurate at 300 meters. It's having no problems at all. I mean, this I wouldn't expect to really have any issues with pretty much any current production rifle at this distance. Um, and like I said, with an improved trigger, I really feel like this could be something. Now, these are currently on FN's website, but they don't seem to be importing them anymore, which kind of sucks, as these are really cool guns. But to really test this, I set up signs at about... 20 meter increments and we got in a vehicle to do a little bit of a driving gun something I've never done before and Nathaniel offered to go ahead and be the gunner in this one while it was my time to shine as a driver so let's check that out tell me when to go Alright, so what we actually learned is that is a lot harder than it looks. On the first target we hit two, second one we hit one, then one, then two, then zero, unfortunately, and on the last one we got one. So all the guys would have been hit except for one, and we got a total of seven out of 18 hits. Uh, that was pretty tricky, and we did do it one more time straight on. All right, this is kind of funny because Nathaniel said it was actually harder driving straight at a target. In his defense, I was driving a lot faster than I was uh, during the 
where I set the six targets up. But in conclusion, it was kind of cool to test a bullpup from a vehicle. A lot of people say that's where they shine the most. And uh, I can definitely see that. This was kind of cool. So we hope to do this actually again with something more conventional, maybe a regular AK or an AR-15 M16. But until then, big thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the cost of ammo. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video.